Right, well this painting is um, something that I ha I'm having to do in a bit of a hurry, hence the handheld camera rather than the nice setup with the lights etc. Because I've, I've realised that I need to do this in quite a hurry. Um, I've got friends of mine who live in a, a little village called Lavenham, which is a very historic village in Suffolk and they're about to emigrate to Australia and their container arrives literally in a couple of weeks. And I wanted to give them a, um, a present of a painting of their lovely little house in the village uh, before they leave. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to have it finished and framed by next weekend, which is li literally just over a week's time. Um, so I'm really sort of um, up against it time-wise. So I've got the photograph all sorted out. I found a photograph of mine in, in my collection. Um, I've known them for about 10 years now, I suppose, so I've been to their house many times. And um, yeah, so I've got the preliminary outline sketches done on, the, on a bit of canvas. And uh, so the next thing is to get on with it. So um, yeah, so this will be a rough and ready video, but um, yeah, it's time to get on. This is the very messy, I hate this stage of a painting because it just looks so messy. It looks horrible, I hate it. It's a, it's a very um, it's a very important part of a painting to get through that stage, get past that and to begin to say, ah, begin to put some detail in that it looks it looks good, but at the moment it just looks awful, I hate it. I hate this painting stage. Definitely the messy stage. So where is Lavenham? Oh, there it is. It's in the county of Suffolk in eastern England. The Guildhall stands in the centre of the village overlooking the Market Square. Established in 1529, most of the timber frame building seen today was constructed in the 17th century and is now maintained by the National Trust. There's some Tudor ladies having a bit of a dance in a medieval car park. That's a Y Reg car there, not sure that's 16th century. Anyway. In the late 18th century, the village was home to poet Jane Taylor, and it was while living in Schilling Street that she wrote the poem The Star, from which the lyrics for the nursery rhyme Twinkle Twinkle Little Star are taken. Lavenham prospered from the wool trade in the 15th and 16th century, and the town's wealth can be seen in the lavishly constructed parish church of St Peter and St Paul. The church is excessively large for the size of the village, and with a tower standing 141 feet high, it lays claim to being the highest village church tower in Britain. Gosh, I'm getting vertigo just looking at that. Right, that's enough history for now. Back to the painting. Okay, so here's a little bit of an update. So it's starting to progress. I'm, I'm quite pleased with it um, so far. Um, there's the original photograph that it's taken from. And there's the progress so far after what well, a couple of hours. Um, a lot of the foreground is going to be covered in foliage and stuff, so I'm not paying too much attention. It might look a bit odd. Uh, parts of the painting at the moment look a bit odd, but because there's going to be so much foliage in it, um, I'm just letting it progress organically, if you like. So it should be okay. But um, so far I'm, I'm pleased with it, it's coming along well. So after, what, three hours I think I've been at it, yeah, I'm quite pleased. So, so far so good. Right, well, I'm going to call it a day. Um, I've gone about as far as I'm comfortable going today. I need to sort of sit with it uh, overnight, have a look at it and see how it's progressing. So if I can just scan down and I'll show you the progress. So it's it's not looking too bad. I'm starting to add the the foliage and the the flower baskets. There's a lot of color in this um, in this painting, and if you know the house itself, it is always a very colorful house. It's always got a very colorful display 
of foliage and flowers and all sorts. I'm no gardening expert, so I have no idea what the flowers are. So I'm literally putting splurges of colour in here and there. But anyway, that's the painting so far. So um, I'll resume it again tomorrow morning. Lavenham is featured as a location in some very well-known films from Harry Potter to Witchfinder General. Oh, look what she doing. Oh, there's Vincent Price. To the more obscure, as this 1969 documentary shows, the Market Square was used in a John Lennon and Yoko Ono film, Apothesis. No, I'd never heard of it either. Nearer, nearer. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Slowly. Left. They're released. There we go, the final product. Um, I think I've done, I've gone as far as I can go now. I've been, this is actually day three that I've been working on it and I, I think enough is enough. So I've gone as far as I'm comfortably able to go and I'm, I'm quite pleased with the result. I mean, I could, I could probably fiddle around with it for quite some time and I still wouldn't be happy with it. So there's probably little details on it that I'm not very happy with, but you know, Overall, I have to say I'm I'm pretty pleased with it. It's 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 good. I wouldn't say it's one of my best paintings, but I'm pleased with it, and I think my friends will quite like it. It'll be a nice memento of their house whenever they um, see it in their uh, new surroundings in Australia. So, yeah, I'm pleased with it.